You might want to keep some of that for us, guys. Mm. No, 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 seriously, you're supposed to just drink it on TV. TV drink, not really. <laughs> anyway, while they're what? doing that. Now, history has shown us that more often than not, the unique stories and sketchbooks that are passed on from generation to generation by revered artists have actually gone on to become more famous than the original artists who made them. And that's because art is a rich site of storytelling. And very recently, Tenji got to find out that there's a lot more that goes into art auctions than what meets the eye. I recently heard a crazy story about a piece of art that sold for 10 million US dollars and then it turned out to be a fake. The world of art is full of scandal and interesting tales behind each piece and while they sell for their beauty, it's a journey behind each work that I'm interested in learning more about. South Africa's art scene has enjoyed rapid growth in recent years with new galleries and exhibitions popping up around the country. But there's just as much enthusiasm in the private art world, where highly coveted works are passed from owner to owner through special auctions. So, Ruach, a lot of people in South Africa really consume art by going to art galleries. Some people even go to art shops to get their pieces. But what sets the world of auctions apart as a way to procure art? Fundamentally, what you're talking about there is the primary market and the secondary market. So the auction is the secondary market, which means that when an artwork is originally made, it is sold for the first time through a gallery, that's the primary sale, and then after it's gone into a collection and lived there for some time and is resold, it's sold at auction, and that's what we call the secondary market. And how does the whole process work? If somebody has an artwork, they contact us, they request evaluation, you can either send emails with images or we can come out and look at your works. Based on precedent, we give it a value comparing a similar work by that artist. That is what we use as the barometer for the value of what we think a work is likely to achieve if it's re-offered on the open market. If the client is happy with that figure, then we include it in a future auction that we're doing. In South Africa, art is becoming increasingly popular as a way to invest because it's a movable asset. And when a piece moves from one owner to another, it brings with it a shroud of mystery and family history that adds to the legend. I think one of the most exciting things that happened in this company was our sale last year when we achieved an Alexis Prella painting which had lived in this Pretoria home for its entire life since it was bought directly from the artist. The owner knew the artist, he had a good rapport with him and he had these amazing stories to tell about talking to the artist and the process of acquiring the work from the artist and then it was just such an achievement for us when we put it into the public domain. It was really well received by the public because they could see what quality and how unique the work was and ultimately when it came to sell it made over 7 million rand. Wow, that is pretty wild. Can you show me around and tell me more stories? Yes, with <laughs> pleasure. Although many of the pieces sold at the auction have history, there are fairly new works by well-known living artists that can also exchange hands by sale through auction. So MJ, what's interesting about this particular work? This work's really exciting for me. It's by Wim Boerte and we start to see how he does almost portraits of animals. So it's a sable buck and what's wonderful about it is he's used that continuous computer ream paper and he's put it together in a block, he's then bolted it together internally and he's then used an angle grinder to actually shape and almost sculpt this work. And how do you as an art specialist come about a work like this? You know, it's people reselling work, so you never know what you're going to get, but we are an auction house where we try to say we want to make it an exciting auction and educate you by having authors write around the works. Cool, show me more. A woman bought a gift for a brother and a sister. She bought them each a PNF and she gave it to him when he was seven years old and it's been with him ever since. It's never ever been seen on the market so it's really exciting. It was made in 1943. It had to be restored because it was in such terrible condition so we sent it off to the restorer and it's a painstaking process. In fact the restorer takes the brush, he puts it in his mouth, he uses human spit and he painstakingly cleans the work and the spit actually cleans the dirt off the painting. It's quite bizarre. Of course they use other solvents, but that's the interesting part. Because of the high price tags of artworks, owners and buyers' identities are kept secret at auctions, making art auctions all the more fascinating. Wow, there is a wealth of wonderful work being created and sold right here in South Africa. So I'm saving all my randellas so that one day I can be the highest bidder. But until then, there are a ton of amazing stories to keep me entertained.